So what's up, homie? What you got? I got this new Gladiator Mojave 2023, and um, I'm going to be building it up for an overlanding rig. But one of the problems that I have is when you drive for a very long time, my legs are not fully extended. And yes, I've had a Jeep before. I had a JLU, a 2020. And I did a lot of rock crawling, a lot of, you know, driving with it, but I've never done high speed desert bouncing up and down that I do with the Mojave. And it's weird because the next day I woke up sore, right all up in here. I was very, very sore. And it was just very, it's very strange to me. So I ordered some seat jackers and um, what is it called? The big boy seat extenders. And I'm excited today because me and you, my friend behind the camera, we are going to be installing this. But I'm gonna take this out for one more last run on the desert to see if I can tell the difference between from when I did not have the seat jackers and the seat extension to when I do have it. So let's go. Cool. Okay, so it's the disadvantages to being tall. Is that what it is? It is. I'm six foot exactly. And um, this is how my legs are. My leg, actually. This leg is perfect. I could extend it all the time. But I have to drive like this the whole time. Which is not terrible, mind you. It's not terrible, but another two to three inches makes a big difference. That's, uh, that's what she said. <laughs> So is it a 2023 or 2024? This is a 2023 Mojave. Oh, okay. Mojave. You gotta be, you gotta be bougie with it. Not, not Target, Target. Mojave. Let's go. <laughs> These new Ray Bans record. No kidding. They do. That's going to be for another video. Why did we choose a Mojave over a Rubicon? Chose the Mojave over a Rubicon because I don't plan on doing much uh, rock crawling. I'm building this to be an overland rig. So I will be out here in the desert. I want to drive a little bit fast. Also, the frame is a lot much stronger underneath. So that's one of the things that really, really got me with the Mojave. That's the reason why. Excuse me while I let some air out. Okay. You could try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh, I'll be the best above all the rest Put me to the test uh, Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess What's happening next, yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon No coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine for pain, it's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I'll leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11, 11, it's time for progression, uh. You could try to play, but you never gonna be me the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy But he ain't staying from the people who see It's unbelievably dusty <laughs> <laughs> Now, but seriously, this thing rides Rides like a dream Absolutely, like how's, a dream. how's your legs? Uh, my leg, it's still, if you can see It's still in this position um, It'll be much better if I had this position instead, and maybe a little arch, a little arch up this way. So we are going to install these things and come back out here and see the difference. All right, well, let's go get them installed, shall we? Let's go. Uh, I love being out in the desert. I don't know why I don't spend more time out here, but I do gotta tell you, um, compared to the JK, that thing has a smooth ride, especially up around the 40 mile an hour mark. It actually makes a totally different experience to drive it through the desert. I say, well done, Jeep. All right, so now we got the new seat brackets in, and we've got the seat with lifted the, up just a little bit. With the extender. With the extenders. 
and the big boy kit, which pretty much allows him to sit in the back seat if he wants to, <laughs> which is actually pretty wild. But anyways, how does it feel? It feels pretty good. I just feel like I'm a little bit too angled up, just a little bit. Um, I would have to drive to see. I think once we take out the spacers, it'll bring me down about this much. About three quarters of an inch. Yeah, which would be a little bit better, I think, because I feel like my legs are like up here. I got you. Um, but it's still more comfortable than it was before. Well, that's good. Definitely. All right. So what did we do? <laughs> so we wound up taking out the the big boy extension and put the seat jackers back on with the with the brackets and where is it yep right down there okay and honestly i'm happy the way that the stock goes back the way it is and instead of my legs being like this my leg it's like this now so i have more than enough room to be comfortable with the angle that i need so we uh spent all that time playing with both kits to prove that they can be used together and not to take anything away from the big boys because they're awesome. I just personally don't need it because I'm not 6'4". I thought I did. I, you know, with the both of them meshed together, for me, it's a little overkill. Typical for a guy to think that he's bigger than he actually is, right? Yeah, yeah, that it's, sometimes happens. <laughs> so if you want to see the wonderful project time that we had in actually installing these you're gonna to have to go to steven's channel which is brother by nature and he is gonna have that excuse me brother b-r-o-t-h-a not e-r i don't spell it the right yeah. i'm a white boy brother by nature yeah that that doesn't sound right brother by nature anyways you'll have to go over to his channel he's gonna have the video on the cutting and the um, fun that we had in actually installing this. Uh, yeah, but for now, fun. let's go back out and make sure that it's comfortable on his legs. Let's go. How's it feel? It feels amazing. It feels super comfortable. It feels like I can go on a long trip now and not have to put it in cruise control just to stretch my legs every God knows how long. Um, it feels great. It feels great. We're going... 43, 44, 45, 47, 49, 52, and it feels amazing. It is incredibly comfortable in here. It's very comfortable in here. So I am not complaining at all. All right, guys. Well, I am so excited for Stevens and for his uh, JT Gladiator and so anxious over the next six months to build this thing up, to get it ready to go for our trip in September. Um, now he's comfortable driving it, and I, God, I can't even begin to explain how awesome this thing feels off-road. I am so jealous. It may make me want to upgrade to a Gladiator myself here in the future. But in the meantime, uh, there's so much more content to come, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Once again, my name is Josh. This is Jeeping for Beginners, and we will see you next time. What's going on? <laughs> So coming from a uh, JL to a Gladiator, I have this measured the proper way and I completely forgot that I have a Gladiator now because it's my first time airing up. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't reach. And it doesn't reach. Because the wheelbase is longer. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to make a new one. Oh no. <laughs> or just get some kind of air suspension, which is coming soon. Nice. Coming soon. But, <laughs> I have to deal with the peasants now and air up one wheel at a time. <laughs>